Hi everyone, welcome to the third section of this video. We're going to look at how to change permission in Linux using the absolute mode. All right, so the command that is used to change, change permission in Linux is the ch mode command. All right, so let's understand the absolute mode. So the R means read and it has the number four. The W means write and, and it has the number two while the X means execute and it denotes the number one. So whenever you use the number four, it means read. Whenever I use the number two, it means write. Whenever I use the number one, it means execute. And so you can also sum up these numbers together. So for example, if I have four plus two plus one, which is seven, so that means you are given a permission of read and write and execute. So if you also have four here plus two, which is six, that is a read and write permission. If you have five, the, the number five, if you had four plus one, that is five. So that means you have a read and then um, an execute permission. And if you have the number three, two plus one gives you three. So that means you have a write and an execute permission. And if you have number zero, zero is nothing, all right? So number seven means read, write, execute. Six means read and write. Five means read and execute. Four means read. Three means write and execute. Two means write. One means execute and zero means nothing. So that's why you always see the, the letters on, on the attributes of a file like R W X, which is read, write, execute. R W dash dash sorry, which means read and write only. Then R dash X, which means read and execute only. Then R dash dash, which means read read only. You know, so um, you can use this table. Um, I've been able to come out with the table. I'm going to be um, posting the link to this website in the description section below if you want to look at this table. It will give you an insight of how to use um, how to how to set the permission using the absolute mode. All right. So let's see an example. So I have a file called Amazing Love. All right. So you can see that for the um, owner of the file, which is which is the user, um, it's um, read write permission only. Then um, for the group, read permission only, and for others, read permission only. So for example, now to give um, the user, group, and others full permission, which means that if I'm to give the user, group, and others read, write, and execute permission, what I'm going to do is to use the command ch mode, which is used to change permission. All right, so you know, uh, we've, won, we've ascertained that uh, server means read, write, and execute. So I'm, I'm giving the, the user read, write, and execute. I'm giving the group read, write, and execute. And I'm giving others read, write, and execute. So that's ch mode 777 on the file Amazing Love. Then I'm going to press my enter key. So let's look at the file again. You can see now that the file, the permission of the file has changed. There's read and read, write, and execute for the owner of the file, which is user. Don't forget, um, in the first video, I mentioned UGO, which is an, an acronym that you can quickly use to remember. So for the user, you have read, write, and execute. For the group, you have read, write, and execute. And for others, you have read, write, and execute. So and you can see that the, the file has even changed to um, green. Okay, so let's um, do another one. Let's um, give this, let's give the user read, write, and execute permission. All right, let's give the group read and write permission and let's give, give others nothing. So we don't want others to have any permission. So what we're going to do is to use the command ch mode. All right. So we're giving the user read, write, and execute, which is seven. We are giving the group read and write permission only. So which is six. If you look at the, the sheets I showed to you, four means read, two is equivalent to write. So if you add two, four plus two, that's a six. All right. And um, for others, we are saying we're giving them we're giving them zero. All right, which is nothing. So on the file, amazing love. All right. So let's look at the um, permission again. You can see that um, the permission has changed. 
for the group we have the read write and execute for i mean sorry for the user we have read write and execute for the group we have read write only all right then for others we have nothing they don't have permission they don't have anything so they cannot do anything on the file so this is how you change um, permission using the absolute mode In the next video we're going to look at how to change permission using the symb symbolic mode all right so thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel and bye for now